Hello viewers and welcome back to the channel. This past week has actually been somewhat slow in the world of AI. That being said, we still covered some cool stuff, however I think this was easily the coolest thing I saw all week, so I had to share it with you guys. The technology we're talking about today has been developed by Nvidia and released in a paper I'll link down below. This is some pretty mind-blowing stuff, and it shows that NVIDIA is definitely a powerhouse when it comes to AI. They just don't really share much of their research with us, but they did share this. Now, I am sure I don't need to explain any of this to you viewers at home, but as we know, with AI, we can generate all kinds of awesome imagery just with a single text prompt. However, of course, you have personal things in your life that you'd probably like to generate images of, such as your dog, yourself, or your family. How is the AI supposed to know about all this stuff you want to generate images of? Well, we actually need outside technology to do this, and this has been done before with something like Google's Dream Booth. Dream Booth has been around for a while, and it allows you to essentially turn any group of images into a small AI model, and typically you would use this with Stable Diffusion. You could do it for something like a product you want to advertise, a certain avatar you want to create. Featured here, all the original images are a specific person, and you can see them in a ton of different scenarios. Well, essentially, in NVIDIA's new paper here, they've been able to do this far better and way more efficient. As you can see, they have these examples of a teddy bear here, and they can make the teddy bear dress like a wizard, very coherently, by the way, and it's the same exact teddy bear. The superhero looks really good as well, or the samurai, or even he's dressed up in a blue suit eating a gourmet meal, very specific. Or we could take a teapot and turn it into pure gold, glass, yarn, or an oil painting. You can even combine these two concepts together, both the teddy bear and the teapot. So, a teddy sitting by the fire with a teapot, and it does that realistically. A painting of a teddy sitting next to a teapot. The teddy is actually sailing inside of the teapot in a lake. Or the teddy is even engraved on the teapot. So, these examples are already looking really awesome. But here's the kicker about this whole model. Previously, with Dream Booth, it would take a lot of time to train the model, and it would make your model a lot larger to train each additional concept. With NVIDIA's brand new technology here, which they are calling Perfusion, only adds 100 kilobytes of extra data per concept. So you could train this thing on tens of thousands of new concepts and all tie them together. You could essentially do custom models on very specific things, and this opens a whole world of possibilities up. Anyways, you can see how well Perfusion is able to latch onto the concept it's trained on in these examples. We can see this is a cat, just four pictures of someone's cat, and it looks exactly like that person's cat in this example. I mean, there's no buts about it, that is literally the same exact animal. And a dress, dressed up as Aladdin, I think, in that one, or dancing. And the same exact examples with custom diffusion aren't nearly as good. A similar cat, but not as high quality. And Dream Booth is close, but can't really make the cat do anything very specific, like dressing up and dancing, or anything weird like that. It's just kind of a cat sitting there. The prompt here was, a cat is acting in a play wearing a costume. Yeah, you're not really seeing that with with custom Fusion or Dream Booth, but you definitely see that with NVIDIA's Refusion. But you definitely see that with NVIDIA's Perfusion. Again, we already saw the examples of the teddy bear, but we can see them with Custom Diffusion and Dream Booth. I must say that this example is a little bit closer between all three. However, I would say the most realistic examples definitely come from the hyper-efficient Perfusion. We've got a very complex one here. This is a pot with a lot of intricate details. And as you can see, we specifically wanted a broken version of this pot. So that is something that it's going to need to do is analyze all this detail and then figure out how it's going to break it. And we definitely got a broken, destroyed version of this pot in all of our perfusion examples. And in the example of Dream Booth, it looks really good. It looks exactly like the pot. However, it's not broken at all and it's just completely normal and it's just a less coherent version with Custom Diffusion. So now we've got a very specific sculpture here, and we're asking for this sculpture wearing a sombrero. As you can see, we do have a hat on the Dream Booth side, but it's not nearly as consistent as the examples from Perfusion, and you'll also notice that it actually melds the sombrero inside of the sculpture and makes it, you know, made of the same material in these two examples on the side. Super impressive stuff. 
Now, this is probably one of the more fun examples. We have a photo of someone's dog here added to the model. And can we say, is the dog reading a book? Honestly, Custom Diffusion did a pretty good job with this one, but it doesn't look exactly like the same dog. Dream Booth did good in this example, but there's a human hand over here on this one. And finally, arguably some of the most consistent results come from Perfusion with this, and the dog is kind of comically reading a book. The technology that really makes all of this possible, NVIDIA calls key locking. This allows the AI to understand the original images you uploaded a lot better by capturing the identity of those images in the latent space in a multi-resolution way. So when you finally go to generate, it doesn't really mess up your character as much and allows you to be more versatile with it, putting it in different poses, or if it's a product, you can put it in more places and add it to more different lighting situations, for example. The list really goes on. However, in my opinion, the most important and the best thing about this is the fact that you can combine characters together. They're only 100 kilobytes. You could do thousands of characters if you wanted and really create some crazy stuff. Like, you could create true art of your favorite characters battling it out with this thing by specifically training your models on those characters or more. However, Google did release Dream Booth to us publicly. We could use it and add it to all of our models like Stable Diffusion. The Perfusion paper NVIDIA gave us today is not set to be released to the public for any specific date, no code or anything. However, I don't think it would be unusual for this to be released to the public. It's not like one of these extra powerful models that these companies like to hide away from us. Research papers like this are often published before the code is really finalized and cleaned up. And also, the fact that they released the paper in the first place and that it already works on pre-trained models such as Stable Diffusion means that people could potentially recreate this based off of the paper. Either way, viewers, I just wanted to share this little piece of AI news with you. This was pretty much the most interesting thing that I had seen all week. If you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI, make sure to check out my Discord server linked down in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.